Hey, Bo, what are you doing in here? I'm putting some more power in it. More power? Woo! Hey, it's Bo with Exos 4x4, and we build badass Jeeps and other cool 4x4 stuff. Well, today, as you can see, we have an LJ in here, and we're doing an engine swap on it. Not just in any engine swap. You'd probably expect us to be putting a ls a hemi or some kind of v8 in there right well no we're going to be putting in a golan stroker 4.6 liter engine these are awesome very cost effective way to add more power to that old jeep without spending a ton on the uh, v8 conversions the four liter that was in there we're still in there right now produces 190 horsepower and 235 foot pounds of torque the 4.6 stroker goes up to 270 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque. So we're gonna be giving a nice little punch to that drivetrain by adding the 4.6. Super cost-effective. When I say that, I'm talking like this engine, dyno tested, I believe is like 6,000, maybe 6,500, and there's not even a core charge. Let's come peek inside the box now. Take a look at it. Uh, it's gonna come wrapped in plastic. It's already got an oil filter on it. Very cool <laughs> valve cover with special badging on it from Golan. It even comes with a high flow water pump too. So a lot of cool stuff with this. It's gonna come with some stainless steel headers. Very cool. New injectors, a lot of cool stuff on this engine. We really like it. Bo and Ricky Z are already taking this engine out. As soon as they're done, they're gonna start going right back in with this one. Should only take a couple of days to do this engine swap if you take your time. A lot easier, a lot faster, a lot cheaper than doing a V8 conversion in the TJ or LJs. One of the cool things about these engines is it does come with a new set of injectors to match the new performance. It's gonna come with its own proprietary machined valve cover here, and it's gonna come with a high flow water pump. Everything else from the old engine is gonna swap over. These engines already come pre-filled with oil and they are dynoed at the manufacturer. So you're gonna know exactly how much horsepower and torque your engine specifically is gonna make. And it's always gonna be there on YouTube, on their YouTube channel. Hey, Bo, what's the blue for? Well, I end up putting tape on all my connector ends, male and female connector, to mark where the location of it. And also when I go to check, make sure if I have everything plugged in, if I see a blue, I know there's one missing. It makes it faster to plug everything back in when you go to put everything back together. All right, Bo and Ricky got the 4.6 stroker all wrapped up, fired up very first time. That's awesome, as it should be. There's a little bit of squeal, and that was due to the old belt. Probably got a little bit of coolant on it, so we swapped it out with a brand new belt. Everything sounds great again. You can look at this engine, and it looks great in there. It looks just like the 4.0 did. There's still some rat fecal on top of the battery. This was a, a Jeep that's been parked in a barn for a while, and the owner just decided he was going to do some upgrades to it so you can look in there still see some of that old stuff laying around in there we're going to leave that for the owner i'm not really into clean up rat poo right now bo's going to jump in and he's going to go do some rips on it and see how big of a difference it really makes let's see if it does do a brown <laughs> try again it didn't really do what I wanted it to do doesn't feel too bad oil pressure is good engine temps good battery voltage is up there battery voltage is really good it's not like 14 yeah I'm pretty sure this guy is gonna be very happy with this Yeah, the lunchbox kicks hard when it locks. 
I think it's a pretty good engine. The cost is right on point. The power is more than prevalently noticeable. And so far, just straight out of the box, this is a solid setup. A lot, a lot more adequate power than it had before. And it puts that torque right where you need it. It's nice, everything's running very smooth. I would highly recommend the 4.6 swap. It's kind of the power the 4.0 should have ended up having from the beginning. It just makes that platform that much better. I'm free! Free falling! All right, let's see if this Golden Zin engine can really do a good burnout, this 4.6. Let's try it. It was all right. It's a good thing that that customer had brand new wheels and tires ready to put on there. Well, that wraps it up. For more cool videos on Jeeps and other off-road stuff, click here.